What is up, TCG Army? C my TCG here. Welcome to a massive PSA returns video, one that I am so extremely excited, uh, and I have some incredible news leading up into this PSA return. Uh, I've been telling you guys that this is going to be my March submission, that there was like the first ever shiny Charizard I ever pulled on the channel, a Reshazard and all kinds of stuff. Well, I went and picked up uh, my submission from my third party DFW Pokemon today. And it turns out we got not only March, but we got April's submission back too. So this turned from like a 15 card PSA return video to like a 32 or 34 card PSA returns video, which just makes us insane. Now there are some big heavy hitters in here. There's a two shiny Charizards. There's a Stormfront Charizard, a Dark Charizard, um, a Japanese Typhlosion T17, all kinds of crazy stuff going on in this return and I am so excited to bring this uh, not only that but I did have to pay quite a few up charges which means some of my cards were worth so much because they graded so high that PSA had to add extra insurance and we had to pay more to get them back from PSA so that is awesome news uh, I'm going to try to have like the price of each card as I pull them out from like recent eBay solds and stuff, the average prices that I'm seeing. Uh, at the time of recording this video, I'll have that on the screen for as many as I can find. So uh, be on the lookout for that. We can talk about all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this, man, because I am beyond excited to get into this PSA return, you can see here, PSA, their stock Xboxes. This one has less cards in it, so I'm going to pull this one out first. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay, so these are the backs of the cards. So we're going to do this right here. Uh, we will start off with box one. And uh, then we'll open up the second one, which has even more cards in it. I'm going to try to cover up the grades. And right off the bat, man, we have a Zama Zinta V gold card. This thing, I remember just looking flawless. And it is, it is a 10. This guy, I believe, is like 200 bucks. I'll try to have the prices on the card. So there we go. Right off the bat, a Zama Zinta V gold. I wonder if this is the Zacian next. It very well could be. It is the Zacian V gold card right after that. Also a 10. Okay, this one, whenever I pulled this, I was thinking this one could have gone to Beckett for like a black label. I still may do that because this thing looks insane. So we do right off the bat, we get the two big heavy hitters from Sword and Shield base, the Zase and Zamazenta, both in 10s and both sequentially graded, which is kind of awesome. So there you go, Zacian and Zamazenta V gold cards right off the bat here. Let's see here. We have an Eevee from the like Tag Team Powers box, a 10. I have no clue what this thing's worth at all, but it looked cool as a 4 EV. People love EV. So I went ahead and graded this guy. Um, so that got a 10 from the Tag Team Powers collection. Not bad, not bad. All right. What else do we have? We're going to go flying through these. All right. So it's been a goal of mine to get all four Tapus from Hidden Fates, the Golden Tapus. I love the Tapus, some of my favorite legendaries in PSA 10. So this is a Tapu Lele. Um, this one, little off center left to right. But not by much. Top to bottom looks good. And it does get a 10. So the Tapu Lele GX there from Hidden Fates. I am going through these a little quickly because we do have a lot of cards to get through. Um, Tapu Lele GX though. Very awesome for the Tapus. That gets a 10. So we'll keep that over there. So I believe it should be maybe the rest of the Tapus coming up after this, other than Finny, which we already have. So this is a Coco. This one is a little off-centered left to right as well. Maybe a little top to bottom. This one may be a 9. Uh, this one's kind of off-centered. This one may be a 9. Oh, we got a 10. All right. So this one got a 10. I actually submitted two of these because I remember looking at this one and going, that may be a 9. So I know I have another one of these in there as well. So there we go. Tapu Coco with the 10. Very, very nice. Let's see here. So here we have another Tapu Coco. So both of these get a 10. That's awesome. That'll be pretty cool. We'll have two of them. Uh, one of them will go up for sale if we have uh, two of them. And we do. So we get both 10s on the two Tapu Coco GXs. There we go. Right off the bat, man. We are starting out strong. We have nothing but 10 so far. That is absolutely crazy. So... Uh, he told me when I picked him up, I didn't want him to tell me the grades, but he did say we had a lot of 10s. So uh, that's pretty cool. So we have nothing but 10s up to this point. Very awesome. All right, so let's see here. 
Tapu Bulu, the other Tapu. So this will be my last Tapu that I need in a 10, because we already have the Finny from our previous PSA return. And it is a 10, so we now have all four Tapus from Hidden Fates in 10s, which is super awesome. That is very cool. I love the Golden Tapu card, so I am very happy to now have all four of those guys in PSA 10. Very nice. All right. Cynthia. All right, so this is a full art Cynthia. I actually, this one's a little off. You can see left to right here. We're a little off, um, but it's not by much. It's not by much at all. Um, and it does. It does get a 10. So we meet the requirements for a 10. The back looks really solid. Um, so we were within the parameters. You are allowed a little bit of off center, just a very little bit on the front of your card with PSA to still qualify for that 10. So we do get it on the Cynthia. I'm not sure what this one's worth either, but I know this is the biggest trainer card in uh, Hidden Fate. So lots of Hidden Fates in the submission. Very cool. So we are still on a streak of 10s here. And a Sylveon. Okay, Sylveon GX. Do we get the 10? Yes, we do. So, uh, I actually, you guys may have seen my recent BGS Beckett returns video. We had this in a gold label 10 for Beckett. Now we have it in a PSA 10 as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure uh, either my Beckett or this will probably ever sell. Probably the Beckett because I'm getting all the evolutions in 10s. So very cool. Sylveon. We actually have more of those coming back in future submissions for the Sylveon. Umbreon. Okay, so y'all know Umbreon is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Shiny Umbreon. This thing looks... This has got to be a 10. And it is. Okay. So we actually have a PSA 10 and a Beckett 10 Umbreon over there as well. Um, so I do have a PSA 10 Umbreon for sale as well. If anyone's interested, hit me up. Um, but nice. So we did the Sylveon and the Umbreon PSA 10. We have all 10 so far. That is absolutely insane. So there we go. The Umbreon looking very clean. Gosh, man, Hidden Fate stuff usually comes out looking very awesome. So there we go. All 10s up to this point. What we got here? The Espeon. Okay, this guy is pretty off-centered left to right. Like, there's hardly anything on this side. So I'm going to be pretty shocked if this one's a 10. This one may be a 9. You can see there's hardly anything on the left. Like, no silver bordering. How's the back look? The back actually looks really solid. So the back is centered really well. The front is off left to right pretty bad. And they still gave it a 10. Okay, that's surprising. This should not be a 10, in my opinion. Um, but I will take it. That is an Espeon 10. We actually have this one in a 10 already as well. So I will take that. We get the Espeon GX in a 10. The Umbreon and the Sylveon. All the Hidden Fates. So what is this guy? This is a Mewtwo. This has got to be a nine. This has got to be a nine. You could, there's hardly anything on the top at all. This may break our streak. And it does. Okay, this is well deserving of a nine. I don't even know why I sent this guy in. But you can tell sometimes, like that Espeon I think should have been a nine and it wasn't. But you can tell there's hardly anything top to bottom. Um, left to right's good. Back is good, but it, the centering up top, I mean, that's very deserving of a nine. So we do finally break the streak and get our very first nine, but that is okay. So out of the first, however many are in here, we get all tens. So I'm not even going to bother counting them. That is awesome. Okay. We are on a roll. Okay. So that means all the heavy hitters are going to be in this box. We have two, there's a lot more cards in this box than in the other one. Let's see here. I want to make sure. Okay, so that's the front of them. I didn't see any grades here. There we go. So this stack is a lot bigger than the other one. All right, so let's see here. So right off the bat, we have another Mewtwo. This one looks like a 10. Can this one? Okay, so we get the 9 and the 10 shiny Mewtwo's here. You can kind of see, this one definitely deserves the 10. This one definitely deserves the 9. You can just tell the centering top to bottom. For those of you that are new to PSA grading or anything, you can tell there's hard, the black border, hardly anything at the bottom, whereas this one uh, looks perfectly centered. So there we go. PSA 10 Mewtwo to go with the PSA 9. So we're back on track with the 10s. Now, there, this side isn't going to have all 10s because uh, there are some big vintage cards in here. Like that guy. Okay, that's not a vintage guy. We're going to save that one. We're going to save that one for the end of the video. And we're going to save that one for the end of the video. Okay, so those are my two shiny Charizard GXs. We're going to save those for the end. What else we got here? More Hidden Fates. We have a Charmeleon. So, 
10. All right, nice. Very nice. I wanted to get the full line, the Charmander, the Charmeleon, and the Charizard in 10. We'll see. Surely both, I think both of these are going to be PSA 10s, but uh, nice to get the Charmeleon. I bet Charmander is next here, and it is. Okay. This one looks perfectly centered and perfectly centered. It does. It does get the 10. So we have the Charmander and the Charmeleon. So hopefully one of those is sequential, so I can have all three of them, Charmander, Charmander, and Charizard sequential. I'll have to check once we're done here. Oh, we have another Charmander. I didn't realize I sent in two of these guys. And it's a 10 as well. So not bad, not bad. We do have two 10 shiny Charmander, so one of those will probably be up for sale if anyone needs a PSA 10. Oh, and another one. And another 10 shiny Charmander. We sent in a bunch of these. Uh, I've been just pumping out the shiny Charmanders and Charmeleons to PSA. So as you can tell, we get three of them right here. All three in 10s. So uh, these are worth like a solid like 125, I think. The price is probably on the screen, but these are worth like 125 a piece. So I've been pumping those out to PSA every chance I get. And here we have a Rayquaza. This thing is super off-centered, and it's a 9. Yeah, you can tell top to bottom. This one is very off-centered. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We did sell our PSA 10 in this card, but that's okay. It's just a promo, so that is not too bad. We do get a 9. Unfortunate. I could tell when I was looking back at the picture, when I was looking at the submissions, like, this guy just looked like a 9. I was like, why did I send that one in? All right. The birds. Um... It's hidden fate, so it's probably a 10. The back looks really good. And it is. We get a 10. So you can tell lots of hidden fates in the submission. I promise we're getting to vintage stuff as well. But so the hyper rare birds, PSA 10. I think I have a full art birds in here as well. And we do. And it's also a 10. So there we go. We get the hyper rare and the full art. I didn't send the regular one in because it's just so cheap and so common. These are too, but I figured I'd send in the full art and the hyper. Both get PSA 10, so we are killing it right now on the PSA 10s here. All right, okay, that is a Reshazard. We're going to save that guy for the end as well. ADP, Hyper Rare, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. Top to bottom, left to right, all looks pretty good. The back looks good. This guy's going to be a 10. And it is PSA 10, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. There we go from Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, Alt Art? Yes, this is one of my favorite modern cards of all time. I love this card so much. Whenever I submitted this thing, I said, like, this was a Beckett contender. Like, this thing looks so perfect front and back. The centering is insane on this guy. Like, this would probably get a Beckett, like, good contender for a Beckett black label. And it is a PSA 10, as expected. This is one of my favorite modern cards of all time. I love this guy. I love the statues of them in the Coliseum. Super, super cool card. Very happy to have that one in a 10. All right, so this is actually a heavy hitter compared to the other birds. We have the promo stained glass birds. Um, this guy looks really, really solid. Centering is great. And it is a 10. So there we go. The stained glass birds. P is a 10. Man, we are killing it with the 10s in the submission, guys. This is awesome. I'm very, very excited to have all these coming back as 10s. Shining Mew from Shining Legends. Um, centering, there's a little bit more on the left than the right, but not by much. That may still be in the parameters. Um, back looks perfect. I'm going to say it's a 10. Oh, I got the 9. Okay, so they... They dinged us for the left to right centering. That's unfortunate. That one got the nine. I can see it. Like, uh, it's very close, but I can see that one getting the nine. Left to right is off. That's unfortunate. So we do get the nine on that shining Mew, but that's okay. Still a very cool card. Still a very cool card. Okay, that's another big heavy hitter. We're going to save the heavy hitters for the end. This one, I actually know exactly what it is because it's Japanese. T17 Japanese. Now, this is from my childhood. I pulled this out of a Japanese pack when I was a kid. Um, I believe my mom got me one of these, and it stayed in a binder, and I found it this past December, and it was pretty insane how it looked, man. Um, like, gosh, I don't even see any whitening. I really don't. That's going to be close. Like, unless there's hollow scratches or print lines that I can't really see. Oh, it's an 8. Uh, there might, okay, so I can see a little bit. It looks like there may be... Maybe the discoloration. Like, you can see there's some discoloration over here. 
and a little bit throughout the car there's a little discoloration on it but man that's still cool that is a PSA 8 Japanese T17 uh, it's 157 in Japanese so uh, that's very cool this is one of the most popular English cards you can get in English so I just happened to have a Japanese one from when I was a kid found it in a binder and graded it so that is super cool Typhlosion PSA 8 Japanese very cool I will take the 8 Okay, so this guy, you guys can already tell what it is. This card's special because this is my ancient Mew from when I was a kid going to the movies with my cousin, uh, who's one of my best friends. Uh, got this thing at the movies myself. I had it in a binder ever since. Found it this Christmas. So I, I don't know what it's worth. Actually, I know this isn't like a super valuable card, but it's special because the nostalgia. Like I said, I went to the movies as a little kid. Got this card out of just with my movie ticket, and I had it ever since then, and it's in really good shape. And it gets the nine. So I think there was a print line somewhere on the front. I'm not exactly sure where. There's a print line somewhere on here. Um, gosh, this thing looks insanely clean. Like, this thing is so nice. So, this is really cool. This is special to me. This is one that I'm not going to get rid of, like, ever, because just the nostalgia of it and knowing that this was my card from when I was a kid. So, super cool there, knowing that, gosh, I got a nine. That's so cool. I will gladly take that. That's special. That is special. That's really special. All right, here we go. Dark Charizard. Okay, what about this next one? Hold on. Is it all char? Okay. Aerodactyl first edition pre-release stamp. So the pre-release was scratching off a little bit on this guy. Um, other than that, like the card was perfect, I believe. Other than the pre-release symbol kind of scratching off. So I think that may dock this to an 8 or a 9. It does get a 9. Nice. Was there any whitening? There was no whitening or anything. So the, I think they literally just docked this because the pre-release stamp. If you, let's see if I can get closer. The pre-release stamp is kind of like scratch up a little bit, but other than that, this card is like stupid nice. Very cool Aerodactyl pre-release, PSA 9. I will take that all day, every day. PSA 9. All right, so now we have nothing but heavy hitters from here on out. Dark Charizard, Stormfront, two shiny Zards. All right, let's start with the Dark Charizard. Um, very cool card. I got this off of eBay. Um... It was in really clean condition. I know there was some whitening, like there's a little whitening right there. There's a little whitening in this corner and a little nick up in this corner. So it's not gonna get a 10, probably not even nine. I'm gonna say it's an eight, unless there's just something crazy on the hollow. I'm gonna say an eight, cause it looks really clean on the front. And we do, we, we do get the eight. So a dark Charizard PSA eight. I love this card. This is one of my favorites from when I was a kid. Um, this is not my childhood card. I lost that one, unfortunately, but a very cool card. Shout out to my Ryan in the TCG Army. He is a big, this is his favorite card of all time is the Dark Charizard. So uh, mine gets a PSA 8. Still a very, very cool card. I'm very happy to have this. Um, I love just collecting all the Charizards throughout the years and stuff. And this is one of my favorites when I was a kid, too. I remember pulling this in the mall as a kid with uh, some of my buddies. My buddy pulled a Dark Blastoise. I pulled a Dark Charizard out of packs that we opened up at the same time. So, very cool memories. All about the nostalgia. Very cool. PSA 8 Dark Charizard. Stormfront. This is one of my favorite and most underrated Charizards ever. Um, the hollow on this thing is spotless. I love this card. is like the base set art reimagined from Diamond Pearl Stormfront. I think the value on this guy is just going to keep going up. Because those Diamond Pearl cards uh, start to rise and get harder to find. Man, the hollow looks perfect on this guy. Back. There's a little white spot right there. So that probably docks it from the 10. But other than that, it looks stupid clean. A 9. PSA 9. Stormfront Charizard. Let's go. That is awesome. Man, that is awesome. This is such a cool card, man. I love this. Such an underrated Charizard. Like I said, I think the price of this one is only going to keep going up because uh, the Diamond Pearl cards haven't gotten quite as hard to find yet. But man, this is sick. All right. So Diamond Pearl Stormfront Charizard. PSA 9. Reshazard. PS, uh, Unbroken Bonds. Uh, we've been chasing for this one a little bit on the channel. I haven't been able to pull it. I did buy this a long time ago when this card was still like 50 bucks. I bought this thing off eBay. And this thing looks clean. 
um, like really going top to bottom, maybe off slightly, like ever so slightly. The back is flawless. I'm gonna say this is a 10, and it is. Reshazard PSA 10, let's go. This thing, if you can't see, the texture is all flames on this card. Like it's literally just a bunch of flames as the texture, which is awesome. I love this thing. Unbroken Bond is such a cool set. We actually did a box break of it um, the day before doing this video. So this is awesome. Very, very cool. Reshazard PSA 10, let's go. Oh man, this is such a cool PSA submission. I hope you guys are enjoying this. All right, so that means the last two are the Charizards, the shiny Charizards. Um, all right, so this one I think is the second one because it's the darker one. Let me check. So this is the first one, and I can tell because it's significantly lighter than the other one. I don't want to show any grades. So we do have two. Um, this is definitely the second one I pulled. So we're going to look at this one first. All right. This thing looks like a 10 top like the front and stuff is very good maybe like the slightest more shifted to the bottom back is looking really solid i'm gonna say this guy's a 10 and it is a psa 10 shiny charizard let's go psa 10 shiny charizard from hidden fates so man we are killing it with the charizards right now all right and this one i think looks even better so this one if this one isn't a 10, I don't know, man. This thing looks phenomenal. Maybe slightly off left to right, like the slightest bit. Um, back looks perfect. I'm going to say this guy's a 10. And it is two PSA 10 shiny Charizards. These are sitting between like $1,300 and $1,500 a piece. So uh, two shiny charizard gx's psa 10 let's go it's really funny to see the coloration difference you can tell like two different print runs i think we have a black one and the like a super black one and a little bit lighter one here so very very cool cards i love this card so much this thing is probably the most special card to the channel because it took us so long to pull this thing live we pulled both of these live on the channel so very very cool quick recap of the heavy hitters uh, the Reshazard, the Stormfront Charizard, PSA 9, Dark Charizard, PSA 8. This is one of my favorites. I'm really pleased that that got a 9. We have the Reshazard, like, just so many, much fire here, guys. Like, boom. Uh, so much fire. Very cool submission. Very awesome. I'm so freaking pleased with this. And we got so many 10s. So I am so unbelievably happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please, if you are new here, my name is C-Money. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. We're doing pack openings typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, we got PSA Returns, the Gold Star Podcast every Friday. Lots of cool stuff happening on the channel. Please hit that like button, guys. Let's see if we can't get this video to 30 likes for the absolute insane cards that we just got back. 30 likes will be awesome awesome guys um quick reminder tomorrow if you're watching this video the day it goes up we will not have a video tomorrow this is going to take place on monday's video um and i'm getting this up on a sunday so uh no video tomorrow if you're watching this the day it comes out but we'll be back wednesday with more uh, gold star podcast we have an insane guest that you don't want to miss friday so make sure you are hitting that bell and subscribing because you don't want to miss the awesome guest that we hopefully have for you on friday on the gold star podcast this is a week of just awesomeness thank you guys so much for checking out this video i love you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next one later